This was the scene outside our hotel in San Francisco. A homeless man, hungry for dinner, digging through a trash can for food. The epicenter of homelessness in San Francisco is the Tenderloin neighborhood. It's just blocks from tourist attractions like Union Square and major thoroughfares like Market Street. In the Tenderloin, we saw junkies shooting up in broad daylight and homeless people wielding makeshift knives. One threatened to stab our camera crew because we were filming there. In this video, a mother and daughter wait for a public bus standing just feet from a drug-addled man who's too intoxicated to put on his own coat. The city has about 470 intravenous drug users per square mile. One reason so many homeless congregate in the area is a place called Glide Memorial Church. Like the city around it, Glide is political and post-Christian. Back in the 60s, it removed its crosses to be more welcoming. This man was out cold on a sidewalk just blocks from the church. Next to him, a partially eaten birthday cake, syringes that the city passes out, and water packets that help addicts cook heroin on the street. How does a city this rich get so dirty? One reason, San Francisco no longer enforces quality of life citations, like sleeping on the sidewalk or public urination. The city used to use citations as leverage to get people off the streets. But in 2016, a liberal judge called Christopher Height flushed all 64,000 outstanding warrants for quality of life crimes, every one from 2011 to 2015. But it's not just quality of life crimes. San Francisco now finds it difficult to enforce any law. There he goes, he just broke in. Smash and grab car thefts are everywhere, a huge problem in San Francisco, but cops make arrests in fewer than 2% of them. Police stationed in the Tenderloin complain that it's impossible to get convictions against drug dealers, so they don't even try to enforce the law. One officer told the San Francisco Chronicle that the police now allow criminals to operate, even when cops know who they are and what they're up to. One consequence of not enforcing those laws, rampant drug abuse well beyond the Tenderloin. We videotaped this man shooting up heroin right in front of City Hall in broad daylight. Here's a picture of two people shooting up at Mission Dolores Park. A three-bedroom row house right next to these junkies currently sells for $6 million. Former Mayor Mark Farrell told local media that even he had stepped on a used needle once at the Civic Center Plaza, right near downtown. But nothing's changing. Despite the reports and the money that San Francisco spends on cleaning its streets, we found syringes and human feces all over the city. OpenTheBooks.com has assembled a, every case of hypodermic needles found on the streets of San Francisco since 2011. Take a look at that. Believe it or not, things can get even worse. In 2018, there... This neighborhood in East Palo Alto, California, is so close to Facebook's global headquarters that Mark Zuckerberg could ride his bike to it. Tech billionaires like Sergey Brin and Tim Cook live within 10 miles. But the people who live on Bay Road in East Palo Alto aren't quite as fortunate as their Silicon Valley neighbors. There's no place in America that better illustrates the massive inequality caused by our booming tech sector. On any given night, more than 100,000 people are homeless in the state of California. Nearly eight of 10 of them live on the streets. But there's homelessness in poor areas too. Consider Stockton, that's a city in California's Central Valley. The housing downturn hit Stockton so hard that the city filed for municipal bankruptcy in 2012. Current rent prices in some neighborhoods are as low as $680 a month. And yet our investigation found homeless people all over Stockton, under overpasses, next to highways, along rivers and canals, near downtown on the outskirts of town. 50 miles north in Sacramento, the state capital, things are just as bad, maybe worse. Every public place we visited in Sacramento had homeless people. A bike path along the American River downtown lined with tents. In one neighborhood just north of the city center, homeless Californians camp out near soup kitchens. Encampments on North B Street go on for a mile. What's striking about the homelessness in Sacramento is how prominent it is. It would be impossible to visit the city and not see it. There were people living at the Cesar Chavez Plaza right in the heart of downtown. This photo shows a multi-tent encampment literally at City Hall. The public library essentially functions as a day shelter. It's filled with homeless people charging their phones, using computers, bathing in the bathroom. People were even living on the grounds of the state capitol building when we visited. One issue is that the city doesn't have enough shelter space. Local officials are doing a terrible job of finding places to put people. 
The last city-run homeless shelter in Sacramento closed in April. Now the shelter is going to be used as a marijuana cultivation and distribution center, of course. California tent cities should humiliate the state leaders. They don't seem